Hello, welcome to a new creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the new item swapping and anchor points feature of creature, which you can use in the new runtimes. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Here is a character I have for the tutorial, and here is the rig. Okay, nothing fancy. Let's get to the animation so I can start talking about the new features. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the new item swapping, or if you want to call it maybe skinning or region swapping feature of Creature. Now you can already do sprite swapping in Creature, but that's for animation. What if, however, you wanted to, say, reskin this character in your game? Let's say you wanted to change the arm to a different color, or you wanted to swap out a character's weapons, like, like a sword for a mace or something else. What would you do? All right, so I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do it in Creature. And then we're going to load up Unreal 4, and then we're going to do the swapping in, in the game. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select this arm. Okay. And then you need to basically enable image swapping. That's very important. All right. Enable image swapping. And also, you go to image swap and click on Sprite Manager. Okay. And you can see I have three variations of the arm here. And we're going to actually do swapping later on in the game. Now, before you 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 continue, the first thing you need to do is is you have to set a single knot. Okay. A single knot. A single image sw swapping knot on whatever frame on the first frame of the animation and normally that knot is going to be the default swapped image the default color of of your your item in this case the arm okay so this is no different from the original character this is the original arm but I basically swap in the original arm you can see there is a single knot over here right okay so make sure that that exists all right and that's really all that is to it. Now, if you go back to the Sprite Frame Manager, when you click on any of the images, you will notice there is something saying tag with a number. And in this case, it's tag negative 2. Now, these numbers are always negative. What does this mean? The tag is basically the value we're going to put in the runtime. When the runtime is actually running, actually running your game, we go, we're going to trigger a function call with this value. What does this mean? Well, this means that, for example, if I wanted to swap out the arm for a purple arm, I would take note of the tag value of negative 3. And I'm going to put negative 3 into that function call, and it's going to swap in this purple arm. And vice versa, I mean, in the same way, it's going to swap in this, this orange arm if I put in a tag value of negative 2. And if I put in a tag value of negative 1, it's going to go back to the, the, the original the original arm. Make sense? Okay, so that's really all it is. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about is anchor points. All right, so anchor points are a way to center your creature animations. What do I mean by that? Well, so you know when you ren you animate in creature, you have different animation clips, and oftentimes the animation clips the relative origin of the character might not be the same. You might be animating a character doing something else, maybe attacking or jumping or something and it might be shifted over to the right right however in the game you probably want all the animations to start at the same center if if that's a, if that's the requirement and so the way to do this is to use the new anchor points feature and what you do is you click on animate and then you click on set anchor point okay and so when you do that you see this spinning red box over here right and so what i do is i just drag it to a point I want. In this, in this case, I think the anchor point should be maybe somewhere in the lower torso, around the legs. Okay, and when you're, you're done, you just click done, and that's all really that that, that is to anchor points. And that's all that's all for the Unreal, uh, sorry, the creature tool portion of this tutorial. And I will see you in Unreal Engine. And by the way, these runtime features have also been updated for the other runtimes like Unity and LibGDX. So read the documentation on how to trigger this functionality. Right, okay, welcome back to Unreal Engine, and I'm going to start cr the process of use, creating a character and using the anchor points and item swapping functionality that we just did. And before you do that, just remember you should always export your character in JSON format before we begin, okay? All right, the first thing we're going to do is going to create the creature asset. So right click, click on creature, animation asset, and let's pick the animation asset over here. Okay, so that's the asset created. Let me rename it, swap asset, okay? All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to drag in the texture of the character. 
like so. Let me see if it dragged it in. Not really. Let's try it again. Okay. And I'm going to make a material for it. Pretty standard stuff. Double click. Let's change it into a mask material. Oops, there you go. And then I'm, I'm going to connect up the opacity mask. All right, like so. That's all it is. Save. Cool. And I'm going to drag in an empty character, convert to blueprints. And I am going to add a creature mesh component over here. And now I'm going to select the swap asset. Let's make it a bit larger. Let's make it like eight times larger. <laughs> okay, it's huge. And then let's pick the material. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. It should be somewhere over here. There you go. Oh, brilliant. That's the material. Okay. Save. Okay. And we are done. Actually, sorry. Let me scale. Let me scale this guy up again. I don't think it actually uh, got the values. Oh, actually, it did. Uh, there you go. Okay. I was in the wrong angle. All right. So that that's our character. All right. That's our character. Cool. Uh, let me make a camera so that it's always centered on that character. So I don't have to keep tilting it around when we play the game. So let me drag in a camera. Let me put it in the right place. Let me rotate that camera. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. And then we'll make the camera always activate at the at the very beginning All right so let's let's play the let's play the game and see what we get okay so let me change the material just to make it always emissive so it's, for the purposes of this demonstration you can you can make any material you want but I'm gonna make it unlit so it's easier in our case I'm just gonna make it always bright and so I don't bother with lighting let me see there you go okay so that is that's that's our character and um, let me see. Let me hide the player sphere because it's a bit annoying as well. Let me move that guy out of the way. Let's see what we get. Brilliant. Okay, there you go. So that's our character. Cool. Okay, so the way to trigger the different functionalities is to load up the blueprint editor as we are we have here. And the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the region or item swapping or skinning feature that we're going to trigger. Uh, I'm going to load up creature again. Okay. And I'm going to show you the different sprites that we're going to swap in for the arm. Remember, we loaded up the Sprite Frame Manager, and I, I mentioned about the tag value, right? So you notice that these, this purple arm has a tag of negative 3, and this orange arm has a tag of negative, negative 2, OK? So we're going to put these values in right now into Unreal Engine and see what we get. So let me close this. The, the way to do the swapping is to basically call this function called set blueprint region item swap, all right? Okay, so I'm going to call this an event begin play, and I'm going to put a delay to show you that the, the item is actually getting swapped in real time. So I'm going to swap it to the tag of negative three, which is the purple arm. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's play it. Ah, oh, there you go. Purple arm right there. Okay, if I change it to negative two, I will get an orange arm, I believe. Ah, there you go. Okay, so it's working. So that's how this item swapping works. You can use it to swap in weapons or clothing or whatever that you need for your characters. Okay, so that is item swapping. The other feature I'm going to talk about is the anchor points feature. Okay, so what you do is you drag another blueprint thing in and you say set blueprint use anchor points. Okay, and you set this flag to true. Now by default, you're not going to be using anchor points. So to activate that, just set that to true. OK, let's see what we get right now. Oh, I need a target itself. So let me copy the character mesh. Sorry, let me copy this and paste the, there we go. OK, let's see if this works. OK, brilliant. Play it. Ah, OK, you see it popped up. That's because we set the anchor points at the very base of somewhere in between the legs, right? So by default, there's no anchor points. And then it triggers the anchor points, and it pops the character onto its relative origin. OK, so you can easily use this to center your characters on the origin of your choice. And that is really it for this tutorial. Uh, as I said, these 
features have also been updated for the other runtimes. So please check the documentation page on how to activate or run these functions. Thanks for watching.